Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Hope you're all doing well. I am coming to you from a new location. I'm actually in Berlin right now in an Airbnb. So that's why the setup's a bit different. If you missed my last video, you may not know that I'm not living in my apartment in New York City anymore. So if you wanna be caught up on that, I'll put a card right here and have it in the description box. But I don't wanna talk about that right now. I have some new things to show you and I also have some tips for you for end of season sale shopping and just shopping smart, downsizing your wardrobe, secondhand selling, kind of just a hodgepodge of tips in this video, but I also have some really cool pieces to show you that I got for really great prices from end of season sales. I'm gonna start this video out speaking about a service that I use regularly. You guys hear me talk about it regularly and that is ShopTagger. It is the go-to service for me for finding all of the best sales and deals on pretty much anything that I'm gonna purchase. If you guys follow me on my website or on social media, you'll see that I'm often posting links and favorites from different sales just from all the stores that i regularly shop at and the way that i always find out about the sales first is through shop tagger so basically how it works it's just a button that you download to your toolbar on google chrome their plugin works with pretty much every store that i shop at and anytime i see an item that i want to purchase maybe it's new on the site or maybe it's already on sale i can add it to one of my shop tagger lists and then I will get alerts anytime the item is low in stock or anytime the item goes on sale. I tend to create wish lists for like the holiday time, like I have lists labeled Avery, and I also just have lists for myself, like if I'm looking for sandals, for example, I have an entire sandals list on ShopTagger, which I actually, you guys know, I have been looking for sandals for a long time and I finally got a pair that I really love. Also, another thing that ShopTagger is really great for is if you're hunting down a product that is often out of stock, you can still go to the URL, save it to ShopTagger, put in your size and all of the information you need, and then they will send you an email or mobile push notification, depending on your preference, when that item comes back in stock so you can get your hands on it before it sells out again. That's pretty much it. It's really simple. I want to thank ShopTagger for working with me on another video. It's always really cool to work with brands and services that you actually use in your everyday life. So if you want to check out the service yourself, make sure to check out the first link in my description box to ShopTagger. Speaking of end of season sales though, I have some blog posts up on my website where I just dive into wish lists and links to items that I own that are just total favorites that are on really good sales right now. So I'll have that link down below if you're interested, but I wanted to show an item that you guys see me wear all the time on social media in videos and a few different versions of these are on extreme sale right now on a couple different websites so i'll be sure to link them down below for you guys and they are my rick owens sock boot shop tagger helps me find these which is really lucky but i know there is the actual pair that i have which these are real leather and from rick owens main line but there's also a pair from the diffusion line that are vegan and much cheaper and they look almost exactly the same. They also have lower versions on sale if the thigh high ones aren't for you. I rarely wear them where you can actually see the whole boot. I always just have them under skirts and pants. I think that's how I like them the best. Next is something that I'm actually wearing. I finally found a really good black blazer in a material that I've been hunting for for ages and i found this at an end of season sale here in berlin i got this for around 200 euro and it's from a brand that i wasn't too familiar with prior to it's tom crom hopefully i'm saying that correctly but it's this really beautiful crinkled linen material maybe not the smartest to purchase a blazer when it is blazing hot in berlin it's been like 90 degrees every day but i had to do it every other piece that i've been looking at that's similar is much more expensive and just not justifiable for me right now this is one of my new favorite pieces in my wardrobe and then we have a pair of shoes a pair of sandals finally another brand that i wasn't too familiar with avery told me he was 
but it is a brand called The Last Conspiracy. I got these for around 200 euro as well, which again, much less expensive than any other sandals that I was looking at. And I am so glad I stuck it out and waited for these. Thick platforms, black, worn leather, and they have a lot of arch support and are actually very comfortable. Most of the shoes that I've been wearing are not the most comfortable for walking on all of the cobblestone streets in Europe. And I realized when I started wearing these the other day that my feet rarely see the sun, even my legs rarely see the sun. So these are helping me branch out a bit more. And I think that they're gonna be in my collection for a very long time. I'll be sure to find links for everything that I mentioned in this video and post them down below. I have these new links. I'm gonna talk about this in a video. I've just been putting it in my description box. I bought a branded short domain, so now I have my own version of like a Bitly link. So anytime you see a link in my description, it's probably going to say kaylee.id and then like slash some letters, numbers, maybe a word. For size reference, if you're looking to buy them or buy any other shoes from this brand, I had to go up a full size. So that's maybe something to keep in mind. Some other pieces I own that I will quickly mention because I know that they are on end of season sale right now are my Acne Dragica dress. You guys have seen me wear that all over Instagram. I'm not sure if I've ever even worn it in a video. I wore it to the cliffs in Ireland. I wore it on the streets of Copenhagen. It's been everywhere with me. I actually found the same dress but in different colors at an Acne sample archive the other day but I just couldn't justify having two of the same dress. But I know that there are a couple sizes left on matches of that. I'll link it down below. And also, this beautiful Rick Owens Lilies draped black top that I wear a lot is also on end of season sale. Next, I have a skirt that I purchased secondhand from one of my favorite secondhand stores. And it is called Vanitas. It's a Belgian store that stocks a bunch of Margiela and de Moulinister at really reasonable prices. Sadly, this is a bit too big for me, but it is a super flowy leather skirt. I'm trying to move towards buying the majority of my leather secondhand now, and I'm glad I was able to find this secondhand. It's got a nice drawstring, so the size isn't too bad. I have probably worn this 10 times already since I bought it. I've been really into skirts and dresses lately, and I never thought that I would say that, but wow, I'm looking for more. It's so much more comfortable than pants when it's really hot outside. Oh, I also have these earrings. These were actually gifted to me by a brand called Young Frank. I've been wearing those a lot over on Instagram as well and getting some questions about them, so I'll have them linked down below too. They kind of, I feel like, are a more mature version of the hoops that I used to wear every day. They're still a really small hoop with a little ball at the bottom. They're really lightweight, not stretching my ears, and just all around good. <laughs> I also wanted to talk a bit more about secondhand selling and downsizing my wardrobe and just overall having less things and really purchasing things that I truly love and care about and want to wear for a long time or if for some reason I change my mind I know that I can get some money back for them. So I often get questions like how do you afford to buy designer items? I think it's all sort of started for me originally doing like a giant clean out of my wardrobe that was filled with items that I didn't really love. I used to think that having a super big closet an amount of clothes and shoes and accessories was like the best thing ever and now that just sounds horrible <laughs> to me um, and I just got rid of a lot of things and chose to replace the things that I really didn't care about with a few things that I really loved and since then I can't pinpoint a time where I have spent what I guess I could call new money on anything that I've added to my wardrobe. Pretty much any time I want to add something new, I get rid of something. That kind of sounds a lot more simple than it actually is, but I've found that since I've started investing my money in nicer pieces, I can often get a good chunk of my money back for what I spent on them. And buying 
clothes and shoes and bags and all of these really materialistic items just isn't money in the hole that I can never get back. And with that being said, when I purchase something, especially if it's a bigger purchase, I often do have the resale market in mind. Even if I own things and I'm starting to get tired of them, if I know that like a trend, like a certain bag or a certain shoe is really trendy right now, I'm like, oh, maybe I should get rid of that right now before the value goes down. Something I'm just like interested in overall and pretty conscious about, which I know isn't for everyone. Um, but if you're looking to kind of go down this path, I think those are some great things to keep in mind. You can always check sites like Depop, The Real Real, Heroin, and Bestiaire to find the overall market for whatever item you're looking to purchase, which I think is especially important when you're investing in something like a designer handbag. So at this point in time, all of mine and Avery's clothes and shoes and my bag fit in pretty much one suitcase. We brought two suitcases, but they're both about half full just in case we shop while we're abroad. But it feels really liberating and it's something that I would encourage you to do if you are at all interested in it. I'm recording a video very soon where I will go through and share with you guys everything that I ended up keeping from my move in New York City. Like I said, almost everything that I own now is with me as I'm traveling and I don't really know how long we're gonna be gone. We have a sort of like 90 day cap on our trip though at least in the EU. If you want to stay up to date on our travels or if anything in our daily life is more interesting to you than these sort of sit down videos, I think you get to see a better version of what we're like in real life. I've been vlogging almost on a daily basis, not uploading daily, but at least filming life daily on my second channel. And I always have that link down below as well as on social media, I'm on there like every day. It's a bit easier to keep up on there than on here but i always love making these videos for you guys as well hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i hope you'll have a great day and i'll be sure to see you soon bye guys